Okay guys, so this is part two and we are now level five and this is some custom gear that we got from purchasing the ultra pack. Pretty sick. So the quest we're gonna do now is we're gonna fight with Talos. The bounty hunter who's after us. Who is close? There he is. There he comes. Hmm. I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder. the last of them. It is the most competitive arena in all the Greek world. <coughs> oh, invitation to the arena. So we killed him and took his invitation. because I like the assassin's damage. So the five percent assassin's damage is better for if you have a stealth player. Come on. Fine ship, Telemenes. Alexios! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. I really need a boat, Telemenes. Everyone in Kafalonia needs a boat. Or passage on one. You've seen this shit hole? All my life. Even if I had a boat, who's going to row it? You! <laughs> I'd give my left grape to see that! This is Kafalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telemenes. 
Not sure if this helps, but rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Rumors mean nothing. Don't believe everything you hear. Rumor also has it his ship is docked in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. So I can take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds. Stone. Send me a bit more. Water's pretty deep here. I should turn back. Off we go now. <laughs> the Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. Don't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. Oh, the god! 
God is my witness. I swear. Which one? What difference does it make? Uh. All of them. I swear. All of them. I have never heard so much fucking God talk from one man in all my days. Let him go. No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Did it hurt your feelings? I don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. <laughs> but you're so fat. I mean, big, strong. You really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me, and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it? Oh, no. <laughs> Go get it. Lay here any further. Even rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. By Zeus, these Kefalonian bandits are no joke. Good thing you're on my side. They really seem to fear you. All right, mate, slow down. What are you taking me to?
can't thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Alexios, Mystios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were. You called, and I answered. Many claim to have blood of the gods in their veins. You're the first, I actually believe. So why were those men attacking you? Oh, you know the people here. No offense. I tell them a tale of my last voyage, and the next thing I know, they're acting like a bunch of savages. What tale could you tell that would make them so angry? My last voyage, we found a man floating alone on a raft. Before he passed, he told us a tale to make your blood run cold. Something about a horrifying creature, ugly beyond description. I mentioned the words, one-eyed monster. Next thing I know, I'm drowning in a clay pot. Yes, the Cyclops tends to take that personally. Where do you come from? Everywhere, nowhere. The Adrestia is my home. But I was born in an olive grove in Mykonos. I haven't stepped foot there since I left for the military. So you're a soldier? I was. My brothers and I were captains in the Athenian fleet. Until one night during a siege, Poseidon's fury destroyed our ships. That was the night I saw it. It? What did you see? The sea god commands more than just the winds and the waves when he truly unleashes his temper. I saw his beast, his murderous pet. Few believe me, but this dead eye is a permanent reminder. Punishment for looking on Poseidon's forbidden creature and living to tell the tale. So you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. Where is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Perhaps the fates brought us together after all. I'm in need of a ship and a crew. <laughs> you saved my life! It would disgust the gods to not offer it in return! So, that's a yes? My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia! <laughs> Oops. We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Alexios. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Kefalonia is the only place you've ever known. You'd leave your home. 
I would if it meant staying with you. You can't go where I'm going. I need to be alone. Who's going to keep you company? I'll be fine. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you. You know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. Besides, I love Kina to play with, since you saved her. Go easy on her. She may still be shaky with the fever. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. I promise. You haven't seen the last of me. Just stay out of trouble until then. I will. Don't worry. Okay, you can leave now. Alexios! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. <sighs> All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Alexios? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. And just like that. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Alexios want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? <laughs> the Oracle has spoken! <laughs> to prevent Sparta's fall, the child must fall first. You can't let this happen! Please, she'll do no harm. She'll help us. She will lead us! Silence! Go! 
your blood is tainted! Rid yourself of this poison! Father? Mom. <laughs> Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. Nothing like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh? What would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right, there. Let's get moving. Let's see how the sails are held up. Let's move. Go. Increase speed. That debris could be useful. We're at full speed. Holding together, 
good men in the scrap with those pirates. The seas are more dangerous now that Sparta and Athens are at each other's throats. We need new recruits to better our crew. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well, you're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard and I'll talk him into it. A little Drachmi should sweeten the deal. So, you want me to knock him out? No, no. Well, maybe just pacify him a little. Then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine, I promise you. Inventory.
Action! Commander leading the helm! That's my target. Ready the lines! See who else is around. I still need more crew. I don't think it was meant to kill him. <laughs> oh dear. He keeps scared it's about to stay alive.
didn't go well. I had to kill him. Maybe we won't try for a pirate next time. There'll be plenty more people we can recruit in the future. The gods will provide us with the opportunities we need. Of that, I am sure. We should set a course for Megaris. A long voyage can be relaxing, but we are not really the cruising type. If you want to spice things up a bit, you can always check my log over there. I make a note of anything I hear that could be of interest to a daring captain. Ready oars! Ship the oars! Lower the oars! It's bandits and pirates. God protect us all from mankind. Never be 
Yeah! 
Something there couldn't be for The Athenian dog Pericles fears you. He cowers in his Parthenon, surrounded by playwrights and sophists. He dares not face you with honor on the battlefield. He knows you are too strong. He knows Athens' days in Margolis are numbered. And he knows Athens is next! You, you destroyed the Athenian blockade. They were in my way. Sparta owes you thanks. Dichi has blessed you, my friend. You arrived in time to watch my pater achieve a glorious victory. heard his children died in Sparta many years ago. He adopted me into his household after his previous family failed him. I would never bring dishonor to him. Sometimes things happen in a way that you don't plan or expect. History has a way of remembering things strangely. You talk as if you were there. Maybe I was. Nonsense. You're too young to have witnessed such things. But enough of the past. Let's discuss the future. What is a mercenary doing sailing into a war they aren't being paid to fight in? Tell me why you're really here before I cut you down for wasting my time. I was just passing and smelled opportunity on the breeze. 
The only thing I smell is lies. You're a sellsword. The only thing you're here for is to try and kill the wolf like all the rest. Maybe you should have kept sailing past. I saw fellow Spartans in trouble and thought you could use the help of a well-armed mercenary. We are Spartans. We do not need anything from the likes of you. But my father taught me to use every resource at my disposal. I could make use of you. The fleet might be destroyed, but Megaris is firmly in Athenian control. We need to weaken their position if we are to take to the field and drive them back to Athens. How goes the war effort? The Athenian blockade was a desperate attempt to stop our advance through Megaris. Now we can prepare to drive them from this region once and for all. Our forward scouts are identifying key targets in preparation for our assault. Under the Wolf's command, we shall be victorious. Your father, who is he exactly? Nikolaos, the Wolf of Sparta. He was impressed with my skill when I was a boy and took me under his wing. He trained me himself and eventually adopted me into his house. He is my father and mentor. I live to make him proud. Surely you've heard of him. Just rumors, really. I doubt they do him justice. He is a great warrior and a greater general. I would follow him to the gates of the underworld. Why do you need a mercenary to do that? You seem to have plenty of soldiers at your disposal. It's not a question of manpower. The Megarians are our allies. We do not want to commit troops until we know victory is assured. My scouts are already locating key targets that we can hit. I'll help you rid Megaris of Athenians for a price. Typical of your type. No honor or sense of duty. But your skills are better serving us than our enemy. The Athenians already have a mercenary working for them. They don't need more help. If we can draw the leader out and eliminate him, we will crush the Athenians on the battlefield and drive their forces all the way back to Athens, destroying their supplies, stealing their war chest, and killing their elite troops should leave him vulnerable. Take this and present it to my scouts. If you find them in the field, be sure to check for new information. They might also have need of your skills. This chest you want me to steal, why is it so important? An army is made of men that need pain. Take away the Drachmi, and they lose all the will to die for other men's ambitions. The Athenians keep their treasure well guarded in the fort at the foot of Mount Yerania. What supplies should I destroy? Anything the Athenians need. Look for crates of supplies and weapons. The port of Nicaea in the valley of King Lelech would be a good place to start. It's where their supplies come into the region. Where is the Athenian leader? He is in Megara, hiding behind stone walls and a full garrison of troops. But if you kill his troops, destroy his supplies, and steal his riches, then he'll be open to attack. I think I know what must be done. Remember, every Athenian soldier you eliminate will also help us achieve victory. And once I've brought the Athenians to their knees for Sparta, I'll get that meeting with Nicolaus. Or you'll be next. Send those Athenian dogs to Hades, Mistios. Do this, and the wolf will personally see to it that you are rewarded. So we could just go kill him now, but I'm sure that would be tough to do. Level 18, we're level 6. That's a bit much. So we must kill the soldiers. 
from the faction in power, burn its war supplies and pillage the nation's treasure. If I want to get close to the wolf, I'll have to help Stentor defeat the Athenians. I shouldn't waste any time. Yeah! Watch where you're going! Yeah! Could be one of Stentor's scouts. Looks like he's run into some problems. I'll get every last Athenian! What happened here? What business is it of yours, Mistios? Do you know anything about this? I'm a professional. And a friend. But what's that supposed to mean? If it had been me, I'd have been smart enough to try and hide the evidence. <laughs> Fair point. Whoever did this was brazen and foolish, leaving it to be so easily discovered. Or they wanted to send a message. Stentor sent me. I'm here to help wherever I can. Stentor sent you? Sparta doesn't fully control Megaris. Yet. It's easier for me to move freely in certain areas of Megaris than a Spartan. The Athenians have proven more resilient here than expected. But they will Before not Before Sparta, yes. I've heard the speeches. But until that glorious day comes, we should find out what happened here. Do you have any ideas? Not yet, but I will. I should get a closer look to figure out what happened here. These were professional soldiers, slaughtered to a man. I don't think bandits could have done this. The supplies are missing. They can't have gone far, though. They didn't use the carts. Looks like they went this way into the forest. I don't think I'll find anything else. I should report back. So was it the Athenians? I found some fragments of a green crystal. Bandits, then. The mountains here are riddled with caves, and the war has made them brazen. If it was Athenians, they would have taken the carts as well as the supplies. And bandits? 
they wouldn't have stood a chance against trained Spartans. What are you saying? I'm not sure. Whoever did this went into the forest. So I'll start by looking there. There they are. <laughs> Ella! Food being cooked near here. Ha! Come on! Is this a private gathering, or can anyone join? What? What are you? Please, please just leave. You don't look like murderers. Was that the Spartans' mistake? What? Wait, no! Please, you don't understand. What's to understand? It all seems perfectly clear. Please, let me plead our case. You'd better tell me why I shouldn't just kill you and return the goods. Please. I'll tell you anything you want to know. <laughs> You're the sorriest band of thieves I've ever seen. By the gods, no! We're citizens of Melara. Please, show mercy. This war has already cost us dearly. Like the mercy you showed those Spartan soldiers? I... we... we just took some food. Irkanos told us to take it, said he'd make it easy for us. Irkanos? Yes, the mercenary. He said he'd provide food, told us the Athenians would never let their people go hungry. Explain yourselves. It's not wise to anger the Spartans. Please, we're not thieves. This is our food, our crops. They took it, left us with nothing. Our children are starving. So you repay theft with murder. A fine lesson for your children. Murder? No! Please, we never harmed anyone. Uh, Mistyos told us where to find the food. Everyone was already dead. Enough. I didn't come here for a debate. It's too late for talk now. I came to find who's behind this crime against Sparta. Stand aside. You don't need to die today. I'm returning the supplies to the Spartans. Then you will do so over our dead bodies. Don't be stupid. Take some food, enough to get by. I'll say I killed you and claimed what was left. They will be satisfied. But the food! What of our families? Your families will not benefit from your death. Accept my offer and don't steal again. It won't be me who comes for you next time. Yes, Mistyos. Thank you. Uh, Harry, take what you can carry and go. Quick! Avea, uh, don't <laughs> Thank the gods they didn't try to fight. I wasn't in the mood to kill starving civilians today.
the capital, Megara. If the leader's anywhere, he'll be here. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful.
Yes, I Good.
Come <sighs> on. 